so guys today we will make easy chicken curry using a few ingredients so let's uh, start the process so first we will use a little bit of oil pour it in a pan and let the pan become hot and then we will add sliced onions so once the uh, pan is hot let's add one big sliced onion I'm also adding two chopped uh, chili, green chili, and let's make it golden brown. So we will also add a little bit of uh, approximately two tablespoons of uh, ginger and garlic paste. Let's add the ginger and garlic paste. Okay. One and two. So I'm using a shan uh, ginger and garlic paste over here. So if you find this, you can use the same or you can use anything else. So let's make it this uh, onions really golden brown. And then we can proceed for the next. Let's mix the uh, onions and the ginger garlic paste very well. So for this method, I'm going to use approximately one pound of uh, chicken, chicken legs. So if you have uh, chicken thighs, you can use that, or a mix of chicken thighs and chicken legs is also good. So the I have actually used one whole onion, which is white onion. So if you find uh, red onion, you can use that as well. So it depends on the size of the onion that you get. So I found a very large, a big onion, so I just use one big onion. But if you if you get just a medium sized onion, then maybe you can you know. Uh, use two or three medium sized onions and if it's small onions uh, approximately four onions should be good so let's see how it goes let's make this uh, golden brown and then proceed for the next step now let's add uh, one uh, tablespoon of salt So once the onions have turned brown, uh, let's add the other ingredients. The other ingredients would be basically uh, these ones that I'm going to show you. Uh, turmeric powder, 3 fourth uh, tablespoon. Red chili powder, 1 tablespoon. And this is the Tata Sampan chicken masala, 1 tablespoon. And uh, coriander powder, 2 tablespoons. So you can add these ingredients to the masala. Make sure you keep the flame to low flame now. Your pan uh, flame, you know. Make it to the low, low heat and then mix it properly. So let's just mix it well. So that the raw smell of the masala uh, vanishes. So just after a minute, uh, let's add uh, tomatoes, one sliced tomato. And mix it well. As you can see, 
see there is a little bit of uh, stickiness that's fine uh, underneath the pan that's fine it, it, it should go away once you add water so let's wait till the tomatoes become soft so just after a minute it seems like the tomatoes are a little bit soft now let's add the chicken to this so as I said I'm going to use uh, bone chicken approximately uh, one pound a little more than one pound I'm going to use it's all well cleaned and uh, well you know even the skin outer skin has been removed of the chicken let's mix this properly Masala gets evenly coated with the chicken. So the chicken is well coated now. Let's add a half a tablespoon of salt and then mix it well. So after adding the salt, so now we have added. Uh, half a teaspoon of salt and earlier we had added uh, one uh, tablespoon of salt so after adding the salt uh, we are going to make the uh, heat to a high flame whatever it is like if you have a electric uh, electric um, stove you can increase the temperature to high and then you know uh, try to kind of frying the chicken on a high flame for approximately two minutes so let's do that i have increased the temperature of this uh, stove so now here i'm using instant pot but if you have a regular uh, a regular you know pan you can just increase the temperature to high and let's cook it for about two minutes on a high flame so just after uh, two minutes of uh, heating this chicken on a high flame I'm going to now add water that's uh, one cup of water and when this uh, water starts to boil I'm just mixing it we will uh, make the uh, heat to a medium heat and then we will close the lid and then cook it for 10 minutes so let this water start to boil and then we have to close the lid so let's wait for that so now the chicken has started uh, boiling you can see the water getting boiled so uh, let's close the lid and cook it for 10 minutes on a medium uh, flame so let's do that on a medium flame for 10 minutes <coughs> so just after 10 minutes let's open the chicken and just mix it well and then mix the uh, temperature to a low temperature now. And then again cover the lid and cook the chicken for another uh, 10 minutes so just after 10 minutes let's open the lid and see how the chicken is okay it's now well cooked as you can see so the final step would be to add a little bit of uh, pepper powder that's half a tablespoon of pepper powder if you like it to be a little bit spicy so I'll just add a little bit of pepper powder this much and if you have uh, curry leaves you can add curry leaves as well okay so now let's mix it properly 
and uh, that's it guys your chicken curry is ready so the total time for cooking this chicken was uh, 30 minutes chicken curry was 30 minutes so uh, we were actually covering the chicken for uh, 20 minutes in total and the initial process of uh, you know uh, making the onions brown and then adding the tomatoes and other masalas so the total time for the entire process is just 30 minutes so guys give it a try and let me know how you think thank you